Milo Imagines the World, words by Matt de la Pena, pictures by Christian Robinson. Look, it's all crayon. It looks like crayon and collage. Here we go. What begins as a slow, distant glow grows and grows into a tired train that clatters down the tracks. A cool rush of wind quiets into a screech of steel. And when the doors slide open, Milo slips aboard. Can you find Milo? I think that's him. The train bucks back into motion as he and his sister squeeze onto bench seats. The whiskered man besides Milo has a face of concentration. A businessman has a blank, lonely face. What I meant to say was the whiskered man beside Milo, not besides Milo. There's the whiskered man. And look, there's the businessman. The wedding dressed woman near the far door has a face made out of light while the dog peeking out of her handbag has no face at all, just a long, lolling tongue. Look, she's got a bouquet of flowers in her hand. That guy looks like he's tired. These monthly Sunday subway rides are never ending, and as usual, Milo is a shook-up soda. Excitement stacked on top of worry, on top of confusion, on top of love. To keep himself from bursting, he studies the faces around him and makes pictures of their lives. Can you see what Milo's doing? Look, he's drawing in a sketchbook. At a downtown local shop stop, the whiskered man folds up his crossword and hurries off the train. Goodbye, whiskered man. Oh, look, this must be Milo's sketchbook. Milo imagines him trudging through brown mounds of slush. It's a five-flight climb to his cluttered apartment where he's greeted by mewling cats and burrowing rats. You see the cats? Oh, look, it must be winter time. Look at the laundry. Late that night, the door to the parakeet cage mysteriously falls open and the cats gather on the cold sill to watch the birds fly free above the city. Parakeets tweet songs of longing as the man sips tepid soup hunched over a game of solitaire. Look at that cute they're eating. Hey, whose hands are those? Milo tugs his sister's sleeve and holds up his picture. But even when she turns to look, he can tell she doesn't see. She's a shook up soda too. Oh look, there's a new person. That guy looks like he's still listening to his music. A boy in a suit boards the train with his dad. His hair is a perfect part, and there's not a single scuff on his bright white Nikes. See his hair, it's parted. Milo imagines the clop, clop, clop of the horse-drawn carriage that will carry him to his castle imagines the clink, clink, clink of the guards slowly lowering the drawbridge. Try to say that fast. Slowly lowering the drawbridge. Slowly lowering the drawbridge. That's good practice. Across the human-made moat, the boy is met by a butler, two maids, and a gourmet chef offering crust-free sandwich squares. Mmm. Milo flips to a fresh page at a bustling midtown stop. When the wedding dressed woman strides off the train, a band of street performers launches into Here Comes the Bride. And everyone on the platform stops and cheers. Oh, look, there she is. There's another page in the sketchbook. Milo imagines the grand cathedral ceremony where the couple will be pronounced husband and wife. Look at all the smiley faces. Imagines the groom whisking his new bride to an awaiting hot air balloon 
where the pilot loads them in with blankets and blasts the heat. Say that fast. Blasts the heat. Blasts the heat. And up, up, up they go, hand in hand, beyond the concrete walls of the city, into the infinite blue. These are good words. Where are we now? Those look like seats. Milo holds up this picture too, but his sister shoes him away. Can't you see I'm playing my game? He watches her thumbs bang around the smudged screen, then turns back to the boy in the suit. They lock faces for a few long seconds, and suddenly it feels like the walls are closing in around Milo. Milo looks worried. The spell is broken when the crew of breakers bounds onto the train, announcing, You all ready for a show? Several curious faces look up as the beat drops, and now the girls are walking up walls, they're whirling around poles, they're backflipping over shopping bags. When the train pulls into the next stop, they collect a few dollars and scramble for another car. Look at those moves. Look, this one's doing a split. He's taking a picture. Milo imagines them going from train to train, doing their act as everyone watches. But even after the performances are over, faces still follow their every move when they walk down the electronics aisle at the department store. Hmm. When they cross into the fancy neighborhood, Milo doesn't really like this picture, so he puts away his pad and turns to his reflection in the window. It doesn't look like Milo likes this one. What do people imagine about his face? Can they hear his mom's soothing voice reading him a bedtime book over the phone? Can they see him reciting his volcano poem to the class? Can they smell the chili Colorado? Chili Colorado, say that fast. Chili Colorado, bubbling in a pot in his auntie's apartment near the cemetery. Butterflies flood Milo's stomach when it's finally their stop. He follows his sister under the cold station platform and up the stairs. There they go. Above ground, he's surprised to see the boy in the suit a few paces ahead. Can we find him? Oh, I think that's him. He's even more surprised when the boy joins the long line to pass through the metal detector. Milo's sister suddenly bends to give him a hug. I didn't mean to snap at you, she says. She takes his hand, adding, you have your picture ready? He nods, feeling the warmth of her fingers. As, the, as they slowly shuffle forward, Milo studies the boy in the suit, his dad rubbing his thin shoulders, and a thought occurs to him. Maybe you can't really know anyone just by looking at their face. Hmm. Milo tries to reimagine all the pictures he made on the train. Maybe he could have done it like this instead. But look, the people are on the table with that man, the family, or this. Look, the bride, it's two brides. Or this, everyone's being welcomed home. The girls, the acrobats. I think they were acrobats, dancers. Milo's chest fills with excitement when he spots his mom through the crowd. His sister rushes to give her a hug. Before Milo, let me read that again. His sister rushes to give her a hug before pulling Milo in too. And it's in this tight tangle of familiar arms that he feels most alive. See, everyone's in an orange suit. There she is. When they separate, Milo flips through his pad until he finds the right picture. I made this for you, he says, holding it up. And when he watches for the smile, he hopes, oops, let me start that again. 
and he watches for the smile he hopes will spread across his mom's face. Like he's showing her a picture that he drew. And here they are. Look at these people sitting on the steps. There we go. That was Milo Imagines the World. Words by Matt de la Pena, pictures by Christian Robinson. Both of them have won awards. Bye Milo, thanks for sharing your story.